All right, folks, we freestyling today, so uh, y'all just bear with me. We just, I'm just playing it by ear. Oh, I got two cans of cream of chicken, two different kinds, but hey, it don't matter. I got a can of beef broth. Oh, I got some uh, bell peppers slash banana peppers. I mean, I just mixed them all together and a vacuum seal them. But anyway, it's just some stuff out of the garden that we save. I got an onion. I browned some uh, some of the, my homemade, you know, wild hog uh, sausage right here. And I got a little bit of smoked sausage left. So, uh, and it's just sitting in the refrigerator. So what I'm going to do, I've got some uh, hind quarters of a deer that I had boned out. And I thought about cutting the sinew off of them because they're 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 in the hot water right now, trying to thaw them out. They've been in the freezer, but I cut all the sinew off of them and uh, butterfly them and stuff them full of uh, patty sausage, onion, and bell pepper, and uh, maybe even a little bit of this smoked sausage. I don't know, just to give it a little smoke flavor. And I've got the uh, oven preheated to 295 right here, and I was going. to you know, I'm keeping that little uh, roasting pot, pan, whatever you call it. I'm keeping it uh, hot. So what I'm going to do when I'm done, when when the when that's thawed out, is I'm going to get it in here. I'm going to cut all the sinew off of it, butterfly it, uh, stuff it as pack it as full as I can. Those two those two front parts of the uh, hind quarters, and put them in that roasting pot, and put them in the oven. I got it on 295 and let it cook, uh, possibly until lunch, maybe. And then I might cover it with some cheese. I might get it out like an hour earlier and slice me up some uh, potatoes and just mix potatoes in the juice that it creates. That and the broth and the uh, cream of chicken. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'll get it all ready and then we'll get it started back to see how it turns out before it goes in the oven. chopped up. I got my uh, banana pepper, my bell pepper, my onion. Oh, I was going to put, uh, instead of putting salt, instead of putting a lot of salt because I'm going to put this, uh, you know, this this patty sausage is already seasoned. So I really don't want to put a lot, add a lot of salt and uh, pepper. I may put some pepper, but I am going to add garlic powder to this right here. I love garlic and I don't have any garlic to mince up so I'm going to just use garlic powder to add to this uh, onion and, and uh, banana pepper. Anyway, yeah there we go again with the anyway. I think I will add a little bit of pepper, a little bit of black pepper in there to it. Let me tell you, that about smells good enough to eat just like it is. I love onion. And I love uh, green peppers. Yep, there we go. Alright. And I thought about using my buddy stuff right here. I'll probably pour a little douse of that in there too. That stuff right there is good. It'll add a little bit of sweet to it. And uh, mm, it's going to be good, y'all. Oh, I can't wait. I'm fired up about it. I'm still waiting on my hindquarters to uh, thaw out in the sink in here. I'll be right back. All right, folks, finally got those things thawed out. Got the sinew cut off of them. Got them butterflied right here, if you can see it. Got them butterflied. I'm fixing to uh, load them up with bell peppers. Oh, uh, patty sausage, I'm gonna try to put some of that in it. Probably gonna put some shapes in there. This crow's about to drown me out right here. What it is, is I've had this in the oven right here. I put a can of beef broth in it. So I got it good and hot. It's like 295 or something. That's what I got the oven set on. Anyway, 
I'm gonna stuff these things. I'm gonna lay them in that broth. I'm gonna smother them with the cream of chicken and uh, whatever's left of this onion and bell pepper and all that, I'm gonna put it on top of it. You smother it in that right there. Oh, and the, and the smoked sausage I'll put, probably put on top. And then that way it'll give it a little bit of smoke flavor. Come on, dude. Crazy thing. Anyway, that's what I'm fixing to do right here, right now. And oh, I'm fixing to go work on the sawmill a little bit. And when I come back, I'll probably slice up some potatoes, possibly, and uh, and put them in there with it. And maybe some put some uh, shredded cheese on the top. You can't beat that right there. Anyway, y'all hang in there. We're gonna be eating lunch here shortly. <laughs> stuffed and laid in the broth right here now what i want to do is i want to come in here i think i'm gonna put the oh uh, let's see let's put the cream of chicken i put a little bit of dales on top of it just to uh just to add a little bit of salt now this one's got oh uh, cream of chicken with herbs so i don't know we're gonna try it too Yep, it all come out in one slot. That's what I figured it was gonna do. No problem, we just take this right here and just pull it right back up on there because I wanna, it don't look real good right now, folks, but I promise you when I get done, whoo, it's gonna be good. I think it will be anyway. I've never tried this, it's just something new here. Just uh, playing it by ear. Like I said, I got that oven on 295 because I don't want it to cook real fast, you know, because I'm going to be out there working. And uh, when I come in, in, a, in two or three hours, I want it to be uh, good and tender. I may even turn it down more than it is now. All right, let me rinse that off a little bit. Now, I think I'll take this right here and just put right over the top of it. All that's gonna do is add a little bit more flavor to it. Now this is gonna create a gravy with that cream of uh, chicken in there. Now you could do it with cream of mushroom, I just didn't have any. Now, we go back. And I mean, you can't go wrong with this right here, folks. Ooh. Let me tell you, mm, that right there is smelling so good. All right. And that was probably equivalent to one big onion and, oh, I don't know, maybe two or three bell peppers. All right, now, just to top it off, let's put a shade of this right on top. Yes, sir. Now. I think that's good. All right. And like I said, I did have some smoked sausage left over, so we're going to put a little bit of smoke to it. This is all wild. I, every bit of this is wild and grown here, you know. Well, the onion, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't buy, I didn't know grow the onion. Sorry about that. Anyway, this, I had a little bit of smoke to it. Now, after a while, we come back with some potatoes, and I slice up about two or three potatoes, y'all, and put in there with that, and let that uh, gravy soak into them potatoes. Ooh, let me go ahead and tell you. It's going to be good. All right. Let's put this, uh, see how warm that is. Let's put this thing in the oven. Right there. 295, like I said, I might turn it down just a skosh. All right, anyway, let's come back in a little bit. We're gonna see what this thing looks like right here. I think it's gonna be good. 
All right, let's get caught up. I jacked it up to 325 just to get it, just to get it oh, bump started. Hannah's fixing to look at it and see what it looks like. Off my and then we got Merle here, of course, that's supervising. Ain't that right, buddy? Ain't that right, Merle? Baby, Merle. Merle, what you doing? All right, you know anyway. we're saying his name. He thinks he's gonna get something. I'm, now look at this right here. This is this is what we talking about. What you think, dude? This is gonna be pretty good, huh? It's gonna look pretty good. Right? Anyway, it looks really good. All right, you can put it back in there. I just wanted to let everybody take a cover picture. Take a take a oh, gander at it before. You want me to take a cover picture of it? Yeah, you can. Anyway, then we can put, put it back in there. Yeah, we're gonna. Well, I can take a cover picture of you holding it, and then yeah, let me see. Turn it around. Can I do it while we're recording? Nope. Yeah. Oh, you might can. I don't know. I'm making just. Yeah, you see the button over there beside the little white one? Yeah, I see it. Yep. Okay, cool. Ready? Yep. Hi. I don't know if it's doing it or not. Anyway, we're fixing to put it back in there, and. Uh, I'm gonna come back, cut taters up after a while, put them in there, let it keep on going. About lunchtime, she'll be ready. Y'all hang in there, we're gonna eat lunch. All right, y'all ready to look at it real quick? It's been in there probably an hour, probably an hour and 30 minutes, maybe maybe two hours, I don't know. Anyway, like I said, we just playing this by ear, so we really don't know. But yeah, you can tell she's making some, she's making some juice now. Let's see what that looks like right there. Oh, yes sir. All right, got me a couple of taters right here. I'm just gonna lay them in there. If you got some carrots or something like that, I'm fresh out right now, but if I had some carrots, boy, I could put that in there. Whoo! Let me tell you, look at the gravy that that thing has made right there. Look at that, y'all. It could handle a couple more taters, but I'm just gonna leave it like that right there. And uh, I'm gonna put it back in, ooh, ooh, ooh. Put it back in the oven. We are sitting on 300 right now. Put it back in the oven and uh, I'm gonna come back in in about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Cut me a couple more of them logs <clears throat> on the sawmill. And then uh, I'm fixing to eat something. I'm gonna see what it looks like in a little bit. All right, here we go. Sorry y'all, I had to try it before I started the video. Make sure it was good. It's really, really good. All right, if I had some, if I had rice or if I had biscuits or cornbread, the gravy that this stuff made is unbelievable. You wouldn't believe it. Look at that gravy right there. The taters is good. It's all good. That smoked sausage put a little bit, just a hint of smoke in there. Oh, the, the shapes, the, <clears throat> the onions, the, I mean, it, it is all, it made it. Yeah, I wish you could try it. Y'all need to try this at home. I know we just freestyled and went through it, and you can change it up, and you could do whatever you wanted to, you know, to make it different. Uh, but like I said, with some rice, you know, pour this over rice or cornbread or biscuits or something like that, this gravy with this stuffed, uh, I don't know what you call this, stuffed, stuffed venison. It is unreal, y'all. Oh, it's good. I don't want to go with my knife. I wish y'all could try it right here. It's good. It's hot, but it's good. The taters are perfect. They've been in there about an hour. They're perfect. 300 is what I've been on. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And hey, I appreciate y'all.